And I'm in the depths of the haunted ship. I'll have the details of all the scares to be had coming up right after the break. Well, it's a telltale sign of Halloween in the Twin Ports when the William A. Irving exchanges its lights, uh, their lights for the all green ones in anticipation of the haunted ship, which opens tonight for that season. And joining us this morning live from the ship is Northern News Now's Peter Kevikowskis. And Peter, anything to be frightened about yet? There's not too much to be frightened yet quite about, Paul, but I'll tell you what. Earlier when I did that tease downstairs, that was scary. We were like in the deep bowels of the ship. No lights except for those ominous red glowing lights, and yeah, that was pretty scary. But right now, we've made it back up to the top of the ship, and we are joined by this morning by Lily Arm. Excuse me. Lucy, Lucy Armisen <laughs> with the deck, who's going to talk a little bit about some of the frights and ghouls that we can expect through the next few months here or for the next month. Can you talk a little bit about what's new to the haunted ship this year? We have a lot new this year. If you've come before, you know there's a big maze in the hall, and this year it's been all redone. So that way there is more room for more haunt. It's, it's a lot more tech, and techs really enhance the scene. So you can expect more movement, more things to happen, and you should just really come expecting to shriek. I heard some people that got an early sneak preview that it's definitely very scary this year. Can you confirm that? I can confirm it is scarier than last year. However, our actors cannot chase or touch you. So there's relatively safe, safe safety here, but you should still come even if you're a little frightened. And we also are joined by another special guest, Matt Rasmussen with the Twin Ports Ghostbusters. I understand you'll be out here tomorrow evening as well to kick off kind of the opening day of the haunted ship. Absolutely, Peter, man. The Twin Ports Ghostbusters will be here to make sure that things don't get too spooky, but to make sure that everyone's having fun and the ghosts are kept under control. That'll be our main job tomorrow. And let's talk a little bit about those ghosts. I understand that you came out here a little earlier in the year and you did a ghost investigation. Can you talk about what you found here? Absolutely. We got so much paranormal activity when we spent the night here on the ship, essentially. We got nonstop hits all night. The main thing is we have this little thing called an ovulus, and a ghost can speak to us through the box, and it'll show the word on the box of what they say. It was nonstop. It was all night. Every five minutes or so, we would get responses like ceiling or drawer or casket was the big one, and it would lead us to certain parts of the ship. We even heard certain bangings and on, on request, like once for yes, twice for no, and we'd hear bong bong depending on what it was. And also, scratches formed on one of our team members. Okay, well, with that, guys, I'm going to quickly make a hurried uh, escape from the ship. Uh, but for now, I'll send things back to you in the studio. Oh, my gosh. Well, Matt is definitely the ghost expert to be out there with for sure. And looks like he's checking you for some ghosts right now. Hopefully, you don't bring any of those back with you. Oh, it'll be sure be a fun, fun night out at the William A. Irving tonight. Thanks, Peter. <laughs>